Hey guys, Ken here. By user request, I'm doing a little bit of a video here on how to implement a 4-in-1 ESC, which uses one of these types of signal wires from your flight controller. If your flight controller has a plug like the KISS flight controller does, then great, it makes things super easy. All your signal wires in your ground are carried from your flight controller to your uh, ESC, your 4-in-1 ESC with this one wire. Uh, not all flight controllers have that. In fact, most don't. But if you don't have that, then you just wire the one end of the connector directly to your flight controller pads, whatever pads are the ones necessary for what you're doing. But a couple people have asked me about how to, how to make sure that the right wires are going to the right place on the flight controller and the ESC. And the thing is, the wire order here may not be the same. So there are a couple of things you need to do. One is you need to make sure you definitely have the ground in the right place. The black wire is the ground on all the harnesses that I've seen. And you want to make sure your ground is on the right end. So for your ESC. So make sure you look at the instructions for the ESC or in some cases it's printed on the ESC. And you want to make sure you get your ground in the right place. And the ones that I've seen, there's a ground and then there's going to be a space. And then there'll be the other four connectors. So it's a six pin connector total five of which are used. So here's an example of a speed control that I got. This is a Racer Star thing I got from Banggood, I believe. I, ca I carry this as a backup when I when I travel. I don't I haven't actually used it still in the package as you can see. But you can see here that they've labeled the pads. The one all the way on the right is negative and you can see that it's the ground the ground wire, the black wire as I described. This one has a red wire in there. It's got it's got all the pins populated, but that red wire apparently doesn't doesn't do anything on this particular ESC. And then you can see S4, S3, S2, S1, and those are the signal wires. Now, once you've got the ground in the right place, you at least you know you're not going to damage anything when you hook it up. However, you may have the, the wrong motor order. So what you need to do is you need to get your quad up and running and go into beta flight and energize each motor independently, of course, with your propellers off. But energize motor one and see if motor one is spinning and such. And make sure you have it correct. And if you don't, then just make yourself some notes as to what goes where so you can correct it. And then you need to take the pins out of here and reorient them appropriately. So to get the pins out, what I found works really well is an X-Acto knife. And you just hold this little guy. What you do is you put the tiniest little bit of tension on one of the wires. Like these, these are very tiny wires, so you don't want to go crazy here. Just put the put just grab one of the wires, just a little bit of tension on it with the plug, like that. It's hard to do it, a little bit hard to do it on camera, but um, and then get get your knife just under the end of that little pin right of that little paw right there that holds the connector in place. You can see I could slide the tip of my knife under there and pull it up, and then I can pull that little wire right out. Now, pay attention to the orientation as well. This little tiny connector is it's real small. It's got a tiny little, you can see it's got its tiny little catch. You can catch it with the knife if you look. If you can see that tiny little paw right there, that's the catch that connects, that catches it in the connector body. And you gotta make sure you have that oriented correctly when you put it back in. So in, you might wanna make yourself a note or just think about, hey, the, the side that has the side that has the the poles that retain uh, the connector socket here are on the top. So you just pull those out, and then you you know you reorient them and put them back in. And when you put them back in, just make sure that they go in easy and that they're secure. Don't pull on them too hard. If you look closely, you can see the little retention mechanism there that holds it in. You don't want to. You it's supposed to float a little bit like that. Make sure you don't damage the connector when you pull this thing apart and put it back together because these wires are tiny. And so you reorient the connector as, as needed for your particular um, orientation, motor orientation or speed control combination with your flight controller because again, these pinouts are, these pinouts are, are different, you know. So if you look at the pinouts for the KISS flight controller, that order, I don't think it's shown here, but it's shown in diagrams if you search for KISS flight controller connectors. It will show you a diagram where it shows you exactly what each one of those pins are. And so that's how you do it. You reorient the pins and you go into beta flight again or into your KISS flight controller. You energize the motors and make sure 
that uh, the, the correct motors are being energized and because if they're not the quad will go nuts when you try to take off so that's it for this video just a quick tip on orienting those those wires correctly for for a good flight happy flying see you next time